What up, fam? Mr. Country CEO back in the house again, man. Look, last one of the week talking about our book, gems and nuggets from the book, uh, finding the right truck. Here we are. Here we go. Let's get into it. Um, specs over make. Specs over make. I always get the question, what truck would I suggest? Mac, Western Star. People see I got those who they ask me that, right? But I'm here to tell you it's about the specs. It could be a it could be a cat, it could be a sterling, it could be a Ford L9000, it don't matter. At the end of the day, it's about the specs, right? Of course, we all got preferences. Some of people like Peterbilt, some like KW, Magwell. That's about preferences right there. But when it comes to what can get the job done, it's about the specs, right? Let me run through them. 18 to 20,000 pound front axle rating. 44 to 46,000 pound rear end axle rating. Uh, 442s, 433s, going upwards to the fives, uh, rear end ratio rating, which is the torque, which is, helps with your pulling power or the speed. Determines that. Dump trucks typically want more pulling power than speed, right? Or I've discovered the 442s is a perfect combination of power and speed. All right. Um, automatic tarp, uh, double frame or a uh, thick single frame, um, automatic Allison is my preference, right? You get the eating, but I don't like the eating. Automatic though, that's the point. Um, those are the specs, right? It don't matter what truck that's on. If you got that, you are built tough enough to get the job done. This is going to be a short video because really that's where it's at. So it doesn't matter make its preference, specs is primary, right? Remember, I'm going to say that again. I'm going to switch it around. Uh, specs are primary. The make or the brand of the truck is optional. That's up to you and what you like, okay? All right, short and sweet to the point. I'm out of here. I'm gone.